This will just be another quick update video on the 900. It's been a few weeks since I made one, so here's another look at what's been going on. So I'm replacing a lot of stuff at the front. I want everything to be refreshed and and um, new and as nice as it can be to drive. So I'm replacing the, all the brake hoses all the way around. All the brake lines look fine, so we'll leave those for now. Um, new brake pads all around, um, and we'll flush the, the brake fluid out. Um, new brake rotors. The hubs are out. I'm having new bearings pushed uh, pressed in. Uh, we're replacing the upper and lower ball joints. New tie rod in. New Bilstein shocks going on. So uh, this should be a nice upgrade and help help replace some of the worn out components on the car. This was in tough shape, so this this will really go a long way. I also did spray new um, undercoating in the wheel wells. It was fine before, but just kind of wearing off in places and getting kind of thin. So I cleaned it up real well and and sprayed some new new product on. So that was the main project. I also have the fuel distributor out, of course. Uh, it's been nearly two weeks, so that should be coming back, well, at this point, about six to eight weeks away. So uh, getting pretty excited about that. I replaced the motor mount just a little while ago on the driver's side. One thing I'll need some help with, I don't think I'm able to locate one for the passenger side. It looks the same as the driver's side, just in reverse but I'm not finding one any of the places that I usually do. So maybe if anybody has any suggestions, that would be very helpful. Another thing I'm still working on is trying to figure out how I can get rid of these water stains on the glass. I've tried a bunch of different products, but nothing seems to be working. So you can see it real, it's real bad here on the back. So I've got another product I'm gonna try soon. This should be better than the rest. I was trying to use cleaners that would dissolve the minerals and uh, also some polish and things like that that would help clean it up like vinegar simple things but uh, no luck so I have tried something that's specifically for this it's an automotive product so we'll see how that does but yeah, it's, this is probably the worst looking thing on the car on the outside of the car at this point so I can't wait to get this taken care of as well and the last thing that's been done yeah, this isn't a big thing, but I repainted all the worn plastic around the windows, uh, well, the windshield and the rear glass. So I used like a chrome paint. I knew it wouldn't look like chrome, and it doesn't. You can tell up here. It doesn't, eh, it doesn't match. But it does look a lot nicer than what was there. I can live with this. So we'll let that go for now, and uh, we'll revisit that down the road. But that's good enough, much better. My plan while I'm waiting on the fuel distributor to be sent back is to redo all the brakes uh, front and back and all the suspension as much as I can and do anything I can under the hood but then once that's done if I'm still waiting the next thing is going to be to start working on the interior specifically this headliner um, I don't want to do anything else uh, cleaning wise it's mainly just cleaning it just needs a good uh, vacuum and shampoo and wipe everything down clean the glass but I don't want to do anything here till till I get this headliner down it's pretty crusty so we'll work on that next but Otherwise, nothing changed in here. Hopefully soon I'll be able to start filming more of the repairs and projects that are going on with the car. Uh, but if not, I'll be back in a week or two with another update video and we'll see how things are progressing. Thanks for watching.